In a world shrouded in mystery and ancient enigma, a discovery of unparalleled magnitude has sent shockwaves through the annals of archaeology. Deep within an uncharted tomb, buried beneath layers of time and secrecy, lies an astonishing revelation. The intact remains of an Anunnaki Nephilim king, preserved for millennia. And in my opinion, the extraterrestrials were the giants, and they had sex with humans. And slowly, for generation to generation, we became smaller. As the world holds its breath, questions surge like a tempest. Could this mythical giant be real? Can its DNA unlock the secrets of human evolution? Well, join us as we uncover the secrets of the Anunnaki Nephilim King. Perhaps within his DNA, the keys to humanity's greatest enigmas may be found. Anunnaki Nephilim King found intact in tomb. Giant skeleton retrieved for DNA genomes. A jaw-dropping revelation emerged from the depths of an Iraqi tomb several years back as a team of intrepid German explorers and archaeologists, captained by Jörg Fassbender, embarked on a quest in the year 2000 that would shake the very foundations of our understanding of history. What did they stumble upon, you ask? None other than an ancient tomb dating back to the distant past of 3,000 years or possibly even more. But the story doesn't end there, far from it. Rather than being content with unearthing mere trinkets, these audacious researchers aimed for the grand prize. They dared to explore every nook and cranny of this enigmatic tomb. As the legend goes, what they found inside left the world utterly astonished. The remains of colossal giants, beings that once roamed our planet, a veritable race of titans from the distant corridors of time. With unwavering determination, these explorers transported these immense bodies to high-tech laboratories, where scientists eagerly dissected the mysteries of these ancient behemoths. Carbon dating was put into action. Yet here's where the plot thickens. Following this astounding discovery, it seemed as though the world went oddly silent, as if a shroud of secrecy had descended upon the tomb, veiling it once more in mystery and intrigue. Naturally, such an earth-shattering revelation was not without its share of controversy. Whose resting place was this, and could more such tombs be lurking in the hidden recesses of the earth? These questions lingered, tantalizingly unanswered as if guarding secrets too monumental to reveal. In archaeology, this discovery stands as an enigmatic riddle, an unsolved puzzle, a tantalizing glimpse into a chapter of history we thought we knew. Yet the truth remains elusive, hidden beneath the sands of time, waiting for intrepid souls to once again embark on a quest to unveil the secrets of these ancient giants. King Gilgamesh is a figure of great significance in the context of this archaeological discovery. One prevailing theory suggests that the tomb in question may have been the final resting place of the legendary King Gilgamesh. Anunnaki, Nephilim, and the Epic of Gilgamesh. You may recognize Gilgamesh from the popular Marvel movie The Eternals. However, it's important to note that while the character in the movie, portrayed excellently by Ma Dong Siok, garnered attention, the mythical character of Gilgamesh has a far-reaching history. In the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the earliest surviving literary works, the Anunnaki are depicted as seven judges presiding over the underworld. They are portrayed as igniting the land as an impending storm approaches, showcasing their immense power and their connection to natural forces. In contrast, the Nephilim are enigmatic beings mentioned in the Bible, specifically in the book of Genesis. They are described as the offspring of the union between the sons of God and the daughters of men, resulting in a race known for exceptional size and strength, often referred to as giants in biblical texts. The term Nephilim itself means fallen ones, or apostate, hinting at their mysterious nature. These beings are commonly depicted as formidable warriors and formidable adversaries. The connection between the Anunnaki, the Nephilim, and Gilgamesh can be traced back to ancient mythology and their intertwined roles. Gilgamesh, the central character of the Epic of Gilgamesh, is described as a demigod who ruled over Uruk, a Sumerian city, and possessed extraordinary strength and abilities much like the Nephilim. Although Gilgamesh is not explicitly identified as a Nephilim in the biblical sense, his tremendous power parallels the traits attributed to the Nephilim. Furthermore, the Epic of Gilgamesh mentions the Anunnaki as the seven judges of the underworld, reinforcing the idea that Gilgamesh, as the principal figure in the Epic, 
is closely connected with these ancient deities. The epic narrative revolves around Gilgamesh's quest for immortality following the death of his friend Enkidu. This quest leads him on a profound journey to seek answers and confront the inevitability of human mortality. His journey is marked by extreme hardships, and he comes tantalizingly close to attaining immortality before ultimately losing it. Gilgamesh eventually accepts his mortal existence, and the mystery surrounding his death persists until the discovery of his tomb. While researchers have not definitively proven the identity of the occupant, compelling evidence suggests that it is indeed Gilgamesh. Furthermore, there are other documented cases providing evidence of giants, reinforcing the notion of their existence throughout history. Unearthing the Giant Mysteries of Nevada Deep within Lovelock Cave lies a remarkable and mysterious discovery that has had a profound impact on the field of archaeology. Reports have emerged from Lovelock, Nevada, describing the finding of exceptionally large human remains at this revered site. This discovery has both intrigued and unsettled researchers and scientists due to its unexpected scale. Lovelock Cave holds deep significance in local legend, revered as a sacred site by Native American tribes who have lived in the region for generations. According to their beliefs, the spirits of their ancestors reside within the cave, protecting it from outsiders. For centuries, these stories discouraged exploration until the 20th century, when a group of archaeologists ventured into the cave to uncover its hidden secrets. Their objective was to gain insights into the lives and traditions of the indigenous tribes that once thrived in the area. However, much like Sir Leonard Woolley's surprising discovery, these explorers were unprepared to stumble upon the remains of giants. This unprecedented find has led experts to consider the possibility of an entirely different human species coexisting with conventional humans. Some even draw connections to the ancient concept of the Nephilim. However, confirming these skeletons as Nephilim remains uncertain. The larger question raised revolves around the fate of these giants, as they would have possessed significantly greater physical abilities than average humans. How did they become extinct while regular humans continued to evolve? Various theories offer plausible explanations. In certain ancient myths, giants were portrayed as malevolent beings leading to a catastrophic flood sent by a higher deity to cleanse the earth. This flood wiped out both giants and regular-sized humans alike. The biblical story of Noah's Ark serves as a well-known example of this narrative, illustrating how a righteous man and pairs of animals survived in an enormous ark while the rest of the world perished under the floodwaters. The Epic Clash of the Gigantomachy In Greek mythology, giants were often portrayed as formidable adversaries of the deities, engaging in intense battles with the Olympian gods. These epic clashes were collectively known as the Gigantomachy and played a crucial role in the potential decline and extinction of the giant population. The Gigantomachy was a colossal conflict between the giants, known as the Gigantes, and the Olympian deities, led by Zeus. The Gigantes were offspring of Gaia, representing the Earth itself, and their primary objective was to challenge the authority of the Olympians and overthrow their rule. This conflict unfolded on a monumental scale, with the giants demonstrating incredible strength and power. Their daring goal was to storm Mount Olympus, the divine dwelling place, in an attempt to dethrone Zeus and take control of the cosmos. In response, the Olympian gods, led by Zeus and supported by other divine beings, vigorously resisted the giant's invasion and their destructive impact on the Earth. Paradoxically, this resistance only prolonged the war further. However, in the end, the Olympian deities emerged victorious, with Zeus wielding his lightning bolts to lead the charge that defeated the giants and their leader, Alcyoneus. As a result of their defeat in this epic war, many giants perished, and others were taken as prisoners. Even those giants who played a minor role in the conflict were exiled to remote and harsh regions, where they eventually faded into extinction. Unraveling the epidemics that brought giants to their knees. Even when we set aside the impact of floods and wars, we can identify many other potential reasons for the significant decline of the giants, despite their enormous size. It's crucial to remember that their immense stature didn't make them invulnerable. Giants, much like humans in many myths, were vulnerable to stories involving devastating diseases and plagues. 
These epidemics could have had a deep impact on the giant population, causing a significant decrease in their numbers. Because giants were physically massive, they might have been more susceptible to certain illnesses due to their unique physiology. Additionally, the close interactions between giants and regular-sized humans, whether they were friendly or adversarial, could have facilitated the spread of diseases between these two groups. The consequences of such epidemics would have been catastrophic, leading to widespread illness, suffering, and death among both giants and humans. Entire communities could have faced destruction, resulting in a rapid decline in the once-thriving giant population. Survivors would have had to deal with the dual challenges of mourning their lost loved ones and the daunting task of rebuilding their societies. Notably, when we examine historical texts or depictions from the supposed era of giants, a consistent theme emerges. There were consistently far more regular-sized individuals than giants. Consequently, even if a disease affected an equal number of individuals, the giants, having a smaller population to begin with, would have suffered a more significant impact. How Earthquakes Altered Ancient Mythical Lands In ancient legends, giants were sometimes linked to extinction caused by natural disasters such as volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and cosmic occurrences. These catastrophic events posed significant challenges to the giant communities, making their survival increasingly uncertain. Volcanic eruptions, renowned for their power and unpredictability, held a particular connection with giants in certain myths. Paradoxically, this association contributed to their downfall. Consider a scenario where a volcanic eruption unleashed torrents of lava, ash, and poisonous gases engulfing the territories inhabited by giants and causing extensive devastation. Earthquakes, often associated with volcanic activity, could have violently shaken the very foundations of giant habitats. This might have triggered landslides, collapsing structures, and disrupting the delicate ecological equilibrium. Even if giants didn't perish directly from earthquakes, the subsequent collapse of their ecosystem would have rendered their continued existence impossible. Cosmic events, such as meteor impacts or celestial disturbances, are also featured in giant mythology. However, it's plausible that giants didn't simply go extinct. They may have transformed. In some myths, giants were believed to have interbred with humans, resulting in offspring possessing a blend of giant and human characteristics. Over time, these hybrid populations likely merged with regular humans, blurring the distinction between giants and humans. This suggests that many of us could be distant relatives of giants without realizing it. Consequently, the historical tombs we've unearthed might have belonged to giants. However, due to the gradual merging of physical traits, distinguishing them from regular humans became increasingly challenging. A world of colossal challenges. Envision a scenario where giants somehow survived alongside us in the present day. This imaginative exercise prompts us to contemplate the significant consequences of such cohabitation. To start, these colossal giants would disrupt our ecosystems due to their enormous size, requiring substantial amounts of food and resources. This could lead to disturbances in local ecosystems and food chains, resulting in imbalances among species in their habitats. They might even establish themselves as formidable apex predators, intensifying competition with other large animals for sustenance. This heightened competition would reshape the interactions and survival strategies of various species. Beyond ecological concerns, sharing the world with such massive beings would present unique challenges for human society. It would necessitate careful resource allocation and the cultivation of harmonious relationships. Adapting to this new reality would be a complex undertaking. This scenario also raises ethical and existential questions. The vast disparity in size between humans and giants could evoke feelings of unease and insecurity. History has shown that when confronted with seemingly insurmountable threats, humans often mobilize their resources to eliminate them. Therefore, contemplating a world where giants and humans coexist compels us to confront not only ecological and sociological challenges, but also the age-old dilemma of how humanity grapples with the unknown, particularly entities of vastly different scales, how titans shaped our technological landscape. In certain societies, giants have enjoyed enduring respect and admiration, largely due to their immense size and unparalleled strength. 
These physical attributes often sparked the belief that giants possessed supernatural abilities and profound wisdom surpassing that of ordinary-sized humans. This profound reverence found expression through the construction of temples and shrines dedicated to giants, as well as the performance of rituals intended to seek their favor and protection. However, giants did not always occupy a revered status. In diverse cultural narratives, they assumed roles as formidable adversaries or even malevolent antagonists. Stories of epic clashes between giants and humans, reminiscent of the legendary Gigantomachy in Greek mythology we previously discussed, held deep cultural significance. As the global population expanded over time, the outcomes of such encounters carried even greater weight. Nonetheless, it's essential to grasp that the presence of giants wouldn't solely introduce adversity. Their existence would necessitate innovative solutions to address the challenges and opportunities they presented. Throughout history, human technological progress has arisen in response to pressing challenges, and we can anticipate the same response here. For instance, the initial challenge of communication would be substantial due to the vast disparity in size between giants and humans. This would likely spur the development of creative communication tools, such as long-distance signaling devices or specialized languages designed to bridge this communication gap. Transportation would also undergo a revolution. Conventional modes of travel might prove insufficient for giants, prompting the creation of larger, sturdier vehicles tailored to accommodate their enormous proportions. This could entail the innovation of advanced transportation methods, including oversized vehicles and possibly aerial crafts, to facilitate interaction and long-distance mobility. These advancements would not only benefit giants, but also regular-sized humans by efficiently transporting large groups of people simultaneously. Such a transformation would signify a significant departure from our current societal landscape. In addition, agriculture and resource management would undergo substantial enhancements to meet the colossal appetites of giants while sustaining the needs of regular-sized humans. This heightened demand could stimulate progress in agriculture, leading to more efficient irrigation systems, increased crop yields, and enhanced food storage techniques. Essentially, agriculture as a whole might become significantly more efficient, with giants contributing to tasks traditionally requiring machinery, resulting in faster job completion. Unearthing Ancient Secrets of Tall Neolithic Men Upon initial examination, this may seem like a tale plucked from the annals of history. However, concrete proof of coexistence between ordinary humans and exceptionally tall individuals has surfaced from the past, albeit not quite in the manner one might expect. In the tranquil village of Jiaja, nestled within China's Shandong province, a dedicated team of archaeologists has been tirelessly excavating a late Neolithic settlement. This site has yielded a trove of intriguing discoveries, including the remnants of 104 homes, 205 burial sites, and 20 ceremonial pits. Among these captivating findings, a recent revelation has left experts perplexed a burial ground containing the remains of extraordinarily tall men, dating back approximately 5,000 years. These remains were laid to rest in substantial graves, and it's noteworthy that these men stood out due to their exceptional height within the context of their era. Some measured as tall as 5 feet 9 inches, with one individual towering at around 6 feet 2 inches or roughly 1.9 meters, a height that might seem unremarkable today but was nearly double the average height for that time. Feng Hui, the head of Shandong University's School of History and Culture, explains that the estimation of the taller individual's height is based on bone structure, suggesting that, had he been alive, his stature would likely have exceeded 1.9 meters. Researchers have proposed a theory to account for the remarkable height of these men. It is speculated that they might have held prestigious positions, granting them access to better nourishment compared to their peers. The presence of elaborate tombs further bolsters the notion that they belong to the upper echelons of society. Furthermore, deliberate damage observed on certain remains and artifacts within these tombs hints at potential power struggles among high-ranking individuals following the burials. Intriguingly, height carries significant cultural importance in Shandong province. Nevertheless, even with their extraordinary stature, the men interred in the Xiaojia graveyard would not have matched up to Shandong's most celebrated historical figure, Confucius. 
Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. The unearthing of the impeccably preserved Anunnaki Nephilim King ensconced within an ancient tomb, coupled with an enormous skeleton, stands as a truly extraordinary archaeological revelation. These findings, destined for in-depth DNA genome scrutiny, open a remarkable gateway into the depths of our past. They carry the potential to catapult our comprehension of bygone civilizations and their genetic legacy to unprecedented heights. This groundbreaking revelation not only sparks excitement but also fuels the fires of curiosity. Delving deeper into this archaeological treasure trove promises to unravel enigmatic chapters of our historical narrative. These discoveries hold the keys to unlocking the secrets of these enigmatic ancient entities and their profound influence on our human lineage. The implications of this find are profound, akin to opening a time capsule from a person's past. We anticipate a cascade of insights that will illuminate the annals of our ancestry. These revelations, born from the dust of time, will reshape the way we perceive our ancient origins, bridging the chasm between myth and reality. Let us know what you think about this discovery in the comments. Unveiling the Giant Philosopher Based on historical records, Confucius, a native of the region, was of extraordinary height, measuring an astonishing nine feet and six inches. He is also commonly referred to as Kong Fuzi or Kong Zi. Confucius, a renowned Chinese philosopher and educator, lived during the spring and autumn period of ancient China. He was born in the year 551 BCE in the state of Liu, which is currently a part of Chufu in Shandong Province, China. Confucius holds a lasting position as one of the most influential figures in Chinese history, leaving an indelible impact on Chinese culture, philosophy, and education. During his youth, Confucius pursued a wide range of subjects, including literature, history, and music. He possessed a profound passion for learning and aimed to comprehend the fundamental principles that govern the universe and human behavior. His core belief rested in the paramount importance of education and the development of moral character as crucial means to achieve social harmony and enhance societal well-being. In pursuit of these ideals, Confucius traveled extensively throughout China actively seeking opportunities to provide guidance to different rulers and advocate for his ideas regarding virtuous governance and ethical conduct. However, he faced formidable challenges and was not always welcomed by the ruling elite, who often preferred to maintain their authority through force and coercion rather than adhering to moral principles. Nonetheless, despite encountering adversity, Confucius remained unwavering in his commitment to teaching and passing on his wisdom to future generations. He gathered a dedicated group of disciples who gathered around him to study his teachings. These disciples later compiled his sayings and ideas into a comprehensive collection known as the Analects, which would become one of the most significant texts of Confucianism. Confucius's philosophical principles were fundamentally centered on the concept of Ren, often interpreted as benevolence or humaneness. He advocated for the cultivation of virtues such as compassion and respect among individuals to promote a harmonious society. Furthermore, he stressed the importance of upholding traditions, family values, and social hierarchies as mechanisms for maintaining order and stability in society. Throughout his lifetime, Confucius emphasized the enduring value of learning and self-improvement. He firmly believed that education served as the cornerstone of personal development and societal progress. Over more than two millennia, Confucianism has evolved into a profound philosophical and ethical system that continues to exert a profound influence on Chinese culture, ethics, and governance. Today, Confucius is revered as one of the foremost thinkers in Chinese history. His teachings endure as a lasting legacy, shaping East Asian cultures and continuing to influence moral values, social norms, and educational practices, not only in China, but also in other nations with Confucian traditions. The Colossal Mystery of Monte Prama The Confucius Temple, located in Khufu, along with the yearly commemoration ceremony held on Confucius's birthday, serve as lasting tributes. These ceremonies showcase the enduring reverence for his teachings and memory. It's crucial to recognize that Confucius wasn't a mere myth or legend. He was an actual historical figure who left a tangible mark on his region. 
While there have been other individuals similar to him, perhaps not as globally influential but undoubtedly significant in their respective eras, we now turn our attention to a fascinating discovery at Monte Prama, Cabras, Sardinia. At this site, we encounter ancient giants from the Bronze Age, dating back over 3,000 years. These enormous figures, known as colossi, are the oldest known human-shaped sculptures in the Mediterranean, standing at a towering height of more than eight feet. These limestone giants served as guardians for an ancient necropolis and bear a remarkable resemblance to boxers, each carrying curved shields on their left arms. This discovery encompasses an astounding 15 heads and 22 torsos, underscoring that these were not isolated individuals but rather representative of their kind. The Mysterious Colossi of Monte Prama The Monte Prama necropolis site reveals a fascinating history through three distinct phases, each reflecting unique burial customs and traditions. Among its intriguing features are colossal statues, which seem to have suffered damage in ancient times. These statues were subsequently positioned either on top of or near the burial sites. Archaeologists have delved into various hypotheses concerning the purpose and demise of these statues. Some experts propose that these statues could have served as markers denoting sacred spaces or might have adorned the tomb coverings. Alternatively, their fragmented state might be attributed to internal conflicts involving the Nuragic people, Carthaginians or Phoenicians. Notably, the necropolis stands out due to its notable scarcity of women's burials, with a predominant presence of young men interred. This intriguing pattern hints at the possibility that it may have functioned as a shrine dedicated to honoring heroic figures. It's important to acknowledge that not all historical giant statues have undergone similar treatment. An extraordinary chapter in archaeology. The Channel Islands, which are located off the coast of California, have been the site of fascinating and controversial discoveries related to unusually large skeletons. This story begins with the account of Dr. Al Furstinen, a German naturalist, who in the year 1913 reported the excavation of an eight-foot-tall skeleton on Catalina Island. Alongside this remarkable find, Dr. Furstinen also came across various artifacts like mortar pestles and arrowheads. Additionally, he encountered a Mexican legend about a noble and giant civilization that once inhabited the island long before European settlers arrived. The subsequent series of discoveries, which took place between 1919 and 1930, was greatly influenced by Ralph Glidden, an amateur archaeologist working for the High Foundation of New York. During this time, Glidden unearthed and carefully documented a total of 3,781 skeletons on the Channel Islands. Among these findings, one particularly striking discovery was a 9-foot 2-inch skeleton, along with several others measuring over 7 feet in height. An especially noteworthy instance involved Glidden finding the skeletal remains of a young girl who appeared to be of high social status, interred within a large funeral urn surrounded by the remains of 68 children. Subsequently, more than 3,000 additional skeletons were uncovered on the island. It's worth noting that the majority of the male skeletons averaged around 7 feet in height, with one individual reaching an impressive height of 7 feet 8 inches, measured from the top of the head to the ankle. The Man Behind the Legend of the Irish Giant In the year 1783, a man by the name of Charles Byrne, famously known as the Irish Giant, passed away at the tender age of 22. What made him truly remarkable was his towering height, measuring 7 feet 7 inches, with some sources even suggesting he may have reached an astonishing 8 feet 2 inches or 8 feet 4 inches. Throughout his life, Byrne's extraordinary stature made him a subject of intense curiosity. As his health started to decline, Byrne made arrangements with his associates to ensure that the renowned surgeon, John Hunter, would not acquire his body for anatomical study. Byrne's dying wish was to be laid to rest at sea, enclosed in a lead coffin far away from the prying eyes of the curious. He was fervently determined to avoid post-mortem dissection. Unfortunately, despite his efforts, Hunter eventually obtained Byrne's remains. There are claims that Hunter may have possibly bribed the undertaker to surrender Byrne's body and stage a fake burial at sea using a coffin filled with stones. However, the Royal College of Surgeons of England suggests an alternative possibility. 
that Hunter may have convinced Burns friends who were already exhibiting the body for their gain to part with it. Regardless of the circumstances, the preparation of Burns' skeleton for display was a gruesome process that involved boiling his remains to separate flesh from bone. Following this macabre procedure, Burns' skeletal remains were ready for exhibition. These remains have been on display at a museum in London, owned by the Royal College of Surgeons of England for over two centuries. Recently, there has been a growing public outcry regarding the ethical concerns surrounding the display of human remains, including Byrne's skeleton in museums. As part of a museum renovation project, the Royal College of Surgeons of England has announced that upon reopening, Byrne's remains will no longer be publicly exhibited. While acquiring specimens through questionable means during the 18th and 19th centuries was deemed acceptable, there is now a compelling need to re-examine the ethical considerations surrounding specimens from that era that still exist today. Tracing the Footprints of Ancient Giants Another astonishing find was the excavation of a skeleton measuring 9 feet and 2 inches in height. Even when we shift our attention to a different part of the world, evidence of giants' existence continues to surface. In the year 2012, a truly remarkable discovery took place in the vicinity of Rome, Italy. Archaeologists unearthed the well-preserved remains of an individual afflicted with gigantism. This individual stood at an impressive height of 6 feet and 8 inches, truly a giant by the standards of 3rd century AD. Rome, where the average male height hovered around merely 5 feet. Gigantism is an exceptionally rare condition that originates in childhood, stemming from a malfunctioning pituitary gland that leads to abnormal growth. The discovery of such skeletons remains infrequent, primarily due to the rarity of gigantism itself. At present, only approximately three individuals per million worldwide are affected by this condition. Before the discovery in Rome, two partial skeletons unearthed in Poland and Egypt were regarded as probable instances of gigantism. However, the Roman finding marked the first confirmed case from ancient times. The excavation leading to this revelation took place in the year 1991, at a necropolis located in Fidini, a region that was indirectly under Roman authority. Initially, attention was drawn to the immense size of the man's burial site. It was only during a subsequent examination by anthropologists that the distinctive features of the bones became apparent. Subsequently, these remains were sent to a team led by paleopathologist Simona Manozzi at the University of Pisa in Italy for a more thorough analysis. The team of experts closely studied the bones and identified evidence of cranial damage consistent with a pituitary tumor. Additional findings, such as abnormally long limbs and indications of ongoing bone growth even into early adulthood, further supported this diagnosis. The giant is believed to have passed away between the ages of 16 and 20, which raises the possibility of health issues associated with gigantism, including cardiovascular and respiratory problems. Which aspect of these discoveries did you find the most interesting? Share your thoughts in the comments below.